Hi, this video is about a Ford factory TM, M, TMPS system that I ordered with, it's for your trailer, that I ordered with this truck. And I believe um, you can order it if you have a newer um, F250 or 350 and maybe 450, not sure about that. But you, you can order it, I think you can order it from Ford uh, because it has a little plug in it and it, they only started putting this plug in a couple years ago and I'll explain uh, what that plug does and how it works. Um, I'm going to go over by the trailer, okay, and I'm pulling a fifth wheel, which you'll see in the end here is kind of important, and um, I'll give you what I think of the system. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like it, but there was a little bit of a hiccup, so all right, so let's go over here. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, modules that they give you. Okay. Now, uh, these are installed. Everything works. Okay. Uh, you have to have the valve stems replaced, if you can see right there. That's what they give you from Ford. And in the back of that, on the inside of the tire, is uh, the little um, uh, transmitter that transmits the pressure and the temperature to a module, okay? And that lets it all come up on the dash of your truck, which is really cool. And I'm gonna show you uh, basically how I installed this in the fifth wheel, okay? This, down here, you can just barely see, uh, at the end of this wire here is a little box. And that's the box that's transmitting the radio signal uh, actually receiving the radio signal from the tires to, and it sends the temperature and the pressure of all your tires while you're driving up the road. And I had to put this because this is a fifth wheel. Okay. Um, I had to run it through this thing here. Okay. Uh, which is the, your arm that comes out and that's where your cable comes out for your uh, brakes and your lights to your fifth wheel and it had to be run up through here and down into this box and then out the bottom and it terminates where I have it terminated now is is uh, not this this is the the seven four pin that does the lights and the brakes and this one here is the special plug that you're going to plug into your super duty truck okay and they give you this actually cool little mount to mount it here which is actually kind of cool because it holds your other cord up i kind of tied them together so that turned out pretty good um so i did this end first and uh let's go over to the to the uh, to the truck and uh then we're gonna do that <laughs> and i'll explain more so here we are at the back of the truck. Okay, you can see uh, this is standard on all heavy duties. Here's your uh, seven pin and here's your four pin. Okay, and what you do is uh, to hook this up to your truck is you get one that looks like this. This is not it because I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. It's in the back of the truck, okay? But you get something like this. But where the four pin is here, if I can open it and show you. Not that easy to do while I'm holding this. Where the four pin is, instead of the four pin, they put, I believe it's a 12 pin. Although there's only four wires hooked to it. And what you're supposed to do is take this one out and put this special one that they give you in here. And there's a little plug behind here that's attached to the, into your truck, okay, that hooks this whole system up to your dash, okay? And that's great, okay? Now, I ordered this truck with, a, if you know what this is, this is a fifth wheel prep package, which includes, okay, uh, one of these same receptacles on the wall of the truck. And the reason for that is, you could plug a fifth wheel in without this, but you would have the wire 
hanging over the back of your truck and whacking on the back of your brand new truck, which most people, now I've seen it done, seen fifth wheels with the, they don't have this thing in here. They put the hitch in, they didn't buy the kit to do that and to put it up here. Okay, so I installed it in the fifth wheel thinking that the wire was gonna be long enough to get up here, okay? Well, guess what? It's like three inches long, okay? It's got these specialty plugs on it. I tried to figure out where to get them from to make an extension. Now, I ordered the truck with the fifth wheel package and that's included in it. You would think if I ordered the fifth wheel package, they knew I was gonna be ordering a fifth wheel. I needed an extension like a three foot extension that plugs into that and then plugs into this. So I can put this up there. Well, that wasn't the case. And I didn't know this till after I did the whole other end. Okay. So what I ended up doing was the plug that's down there, I cut it off. I made a wiring harness with four wires soldered them, shrink them, all that nonsense, okay? And plugged it in. I could put the special module up here, okay? It did fit in there, no problem. That's why I don't understand why they just don't send you a three-foot extension if, if you order the prep package. But like I said, it's a great truck, but that was kind of like mind-blowing. Anyway, I did, and I, what I did is on the bottom end, I soldered them in because I had cut the wires off. Um, I guess I could have tried to get those plugs, two of them, and, and make it with plugs, but um, they just didn't seem that easy to get. So um, now let me talk about uh, the system itself, okay? That gets to show you what you're getting into here, okay? If you had to pay somebody to do all this, I, I, I don't know what it would have cost, okay? Um, that, it, it's a forest river 30 foot in case you need to know. Um, obviously how back far the module goes, okay, depending on the length of your trailer. I think long as you get that module within a lot closer to the tires, it's going to work. Um, they make aftermarket ones that you have these little things you just put on the outside. You don't have to have the tires taken off. And you put a little screen and a little box on your dash, okay, and you plug it into a cigarette lighter. And it talks to them. But from what I heard, a lot of them are unreliable. They lose connection. They get connection. With this closer, it's much better. Now, one thing I didn't talk about, this setup, which is about $500. I ordered it with the truck, okay? I also could have got, uh, there's, a, there's a cable that's wound up underneath here that's not long enough to go to the back of the trailer, but um, I could get a camera that also plugs into the same system and it'll come up on my 12 inch screen. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Um, and you would put it back here somewhere. I guess you'd put it on the bumper, but with this here, you could put it up a little, do something with it. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I, I believe that's gonna be about 250 bucks. I'm pretty sure you can order it from Ford. And uh, you know, now all in all, how did it work? once I got through the making the extension and cable, which was kind of annoying. Um, I've tested it. I went a couple hundred miles with it uh, on a little trip, <coughs> not a huge trip. Uh, it works great, okay? It works really, really good. Um, it When you first hook up to this, nothing comes up, okay? But after you move, I don't even get a quarter mile up the street and all four tires come up. And I can't show you because it's not hooked up, but it is kind of cool. And you can look at the tire pressure of every tire. And you can also look at the temperature of every tire. So, and there's parameters and I believe they're built in. I went through the menu. I didn't see any way to change them. You do tell the unit how many pounds is your maximum pressure. Okay, so, you know, obviously, if some people have 65, the, uh, these were at one time, they're 80s now. Some people have more, depending on the size of your uh, uh, trailer, okay? Um, <clears throat> this unit would definitely be easier, okay, to install in a travel trailer, okay? Fifth wheel is a little more complicated, 
Um, I looked on Ford's website for an extension. I, 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 I can't, I didn't see anything. So I don't think it exists, but who knows? Um, anyway, why would you bother putting something like this in? It costs $500. I'm going to guess you would spend $500 to pay somebody to put it in. That's my guess. So thousand bucks, that's a few bucks. And why would you bother with that? Well, uh, I pulled a lot of trailers in my life long before an RV trailer, uh, mo most of my life, and um, did millions of miles with uh, full-size trailers. And let me tell you, tires on trailers, I don't care how big or how small, can be a real pain in the neck. And it's not just blowing the tire, it's the damage that it can do. Now, it doesn't do as much damage, although it could to a big truck. It's happened to me. Um, on these over here, uh, I like my Forest River. Um, not the, I don't think they're the highest build quality, but I think this was built on a Wednesday. So I, I put 30,000 miles on it and it really, it, it, it really hasn't had any problems. The only thing I had to have done was I had a little, uh, I had a seal leak on a wheel. I, I had that done. I wasn't going to mess with that. But everything else I've done myself, a few small things, not, nothing major. Trim falling off, you know. You know, it, 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 forest rivers aren't, if they're built on the right day, they're, they can be, and you're handy, they, they, they can be good. They're not super expensive. There are some ones that are much better built, okay, but they cost a lot, lot more money. Um, Anyway, you absolutely want to have a system like this, whether it's an aftermarket or this one that comes, you know, I don't know about the other manufacturers, whether they offer it, but Ford does for their super duties. Um, it's well worth the trouble and the aggravation because when those tires blow, okay, this stuff here, which I, I'll come up closer and uh, let you see what I'm talking about, this plastic here. Okay, it's just plastic, okay? It, it, it's hard to see in a video, but it's not much to it. I actually lost this. This is a new piece. I lost it in Texas, and it's kind of screwed up because of the slide, but that's the way it was when I got it, and I, that's, I replaced it. Uh, and it's really expensive. Uh, 250 bucks for that piece of plastic. It's amazing. And, and I didn't do any body damage. The tire that blew was on the other side. And uh, I, I, I screwed up the, a sore cap, and I got another little issue that I got to get to. I probably got to change the valve over here. I got, I got it fixed, but it's kind of a not the proper fix. So, um, And it didn't really do much to the metal over here, which was good. It was actually that front tire there. China bombs, you know, Carlisle's, you know. I, I kept the tire pressure up to, on them religiously, and... <laughs> Once they get past, I think I had about 18,000 miles on them and they, they had plenty of tread and boom, they go. So this would prevent that. Your dash is going to light up long before the pressure or the temperature changes enough, give you time to find an exit, pull over, even if it's going flat, um, you'll be able to safely get to the side of the road. Um, and not get stuck in some lane that <laughs> the cars are coming inches from the from the RV. So, um, you know, it, it, it's a good thing. <laughs> and, and in most cases, I think it can prevent damage to the trailer. So anyway, that's uh, about it. Um, I'm very happy with the system. It seems to work really well. And I'm also very happy with the truck. Uh, waited nine months for it. But uh, it was well worth the wait because... I got to order it exactly like I wanted. I wanted an eight foot bed. I didn't want to have to deal with sliders. I wanted the prep package. Um, everybody was trying to talk me into the Godzilla, which is the bigger gas motor. Um, I got the 6.2. Um, I did a 10,000 mile trip across country with the 6.2 pulling that trailer back there which weighs about 10,000 pounds. And um, I tell you, we didn't, have, we didn't have any problem. We didn't go up any hills with the four ways on. And this is just the standard 6.2. Um, now, if, if you're gonna get a giant toy hauler, 
or something, yeah, you probably want the gas. You maybe even want a diesel for something really big. But you don't really need it. You don't really save much. Uh, you do get better mileage, but you also pay a lot more for the fuel. So, And the oil changes and the def, and you start adding all that stuff up, the diesel. Um, I don't know if it's worth the trouble. This is also used as a passenger vehicle for most of the year. So if it was a dedicated to just RVing, yeah, maybe the diesel would be the way to go. And you, and you got plenty of money. It's a $10,500 option, which is kind of uh, crazy. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you an idea. Uh, obviously, this is much easier to hook up to on a travel trailer. You can, you just go right along the, the little thing in the front and uh, and you just mount it right up. You don't have to fish it through this thing. And, and, uh, and it plugs in in the bumper. You don't have to worry about making an extension or something. So... Uh, but if any trailer you're pulling, and, and you're pulling that one, all, all, the only one you're pulling, I mean, you could even, if you had two trailers, you could you could buy this kit, um, a second kit, and you, you wouldn't use everything in it. You wouldn't use that module, but you, you could put it on two trailers and switch the trailers. So um, it's a really good idea. Uh, it's much better than having a... Um, a, a, a screen that that's stuck up on your windshield or something you know and a wire hanging down that's plugged in it's just it works but it's just kind of you know it's nice to have it all built in so and uh okay i hope you get uh like this and uh you know you got any questions just go ahead and ask and uh hope you enjoyed it bye